Augmented Digger Fuller Test or ADF test is a common statistical test used to test whether a given time series is stationary or non-stationary. It is one of the most commonly used statistical tests when it comes to analyzing the stationary of a time series. In the ADF test, the now hypothesis assumes the presence of unit root or the time series is non-stationary. So if the p-value is larger than 0.01, we do not reject now hypothesis. Then the time series is non-stationary. On the other hand, if the p-value is smaller than 0.01, we reject the now hypothesis. Then we infer the time series is stationary. In this video, we shall demo how to use an ADS test in Python to verify whether a time series is stationary or non-stationary. The ADF test can be imported from the stats model TSA stats tools library. First, we download the Sintel stock price and visualize the close price. Apparently, it is a highly non-stationary time series. Next, we perform the ADS test on the stock price data. The output has two parameters. The first parameter is the ADF test statistic value, and the second parameter is the p-value. So in this case, the ADF test statistics is minus 1.599 and the p-value is 0 0.4836. Since the p-value is larger than 0 0.01, we do not reject the now hypothesis. Therefore, the time series is non-stationary. Next, we look at the daily simple returns of the stock price. The plot of the daily simple returns looks pretty stationary. In order to verify this, we can also perform a simple ADF test. The result of the ADF test shows that the statistic value is minus 21.977 and the p-value is 0. Therefore, we have to reject the null hypothesis and conclude the daily simple returns time series is indeed stationary. From these two examples, we can also see that differencing is a good technique to generate stationary time series from a non-stationary time series. This concludes the video of ADF test. The code can be downloaded below. Feel free to comment below and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.